the World Bank Managing Director and Group Chief Administrative Officer to Zambia, has visited Livingstone for the first time to look at potential areas to benefit from the $100 million United States dollars loan the World Bank awarded to the country for tourism. He has also visited the Mukuni Park Curio Market, constructed through financing from the World Bank about 15 years ago. Now we are here to also you know, look for, you know, uh, uh, to work for another project to support the, the, the tourist industries, uh, tourist development here in the Livingstone city, also in other parts of the of the country. So, so we are, we hope that with with with, the, with this project to be implemented smoothly in the next maybe three, four, five years by the 2030. Tourism Minister Rodney Sikumba says the road network in Livingston is one of the major projects that are under consideration for rehabilitation under the tourism development. This uh, fund that we got, the 100 million from the bank, is a concession loan that obviously has to speak to. Uh, resilient uh, infrastructure. Resilient infrastructure in this case we're talking about having to create a road network that will be able to support uh, the tourism sector. And Tourism Permanent Secretary Evans Mohanga has confirmed that the World Bank has released about 2.8 million United States dollars for feasibility studies. Where we are today, World Bank has released about 2.7, 2.8 million dollars from the 100 million uh, dollars for this particular year, after the financing agreement started. So what is going to happen now is that we are doing these feasibility studies for actually knowing exactly the components in these uh, tourism development areas. The World Bank Managing Director and Group Chief Administrative Officer to Zambia has also visited the Victoria Falls and other tourism sites in Livingston. Angela Limonia, ZNBC News in Livingston.